guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are doing a video that was suggested by one of you, I think because of our cook-off where we did prison food versus health food. And I think the competition was basically our crap talking to one another. So we got these gingerbread houses that we're going to create and we're gonna do a little competition, see who comes out better, see who's the better crap talker. I have a confession, I have to admit that you might take me on this one. The I'm crap better. talking I got. <laughs> we know that. But you've worked with your hands a lot in the wood shop and- Wood and gingerbread, but like not building. the same thing. No, you might take me on this one, but really? I got you on the crap talking. So we actually Definitely. live like walking distance from a Walmart and we're I, there three think, or four times a week. I think everybody lives walking distance probably from Walmart. Probably at this point, yeah. Days. Well, I didn't in New Jersey, but we're there probably three or four times a week getting things from coconut water to Christmas lights to trash bags, not that you could see our garbage can, thank God, and everything in between clothes, I mean, you name it, sports equipment. And as we were checking out, getting our groceries one day, we saw these and I was like, ah, there it is. We have to do it now. So here we go. If you're interested in seeing me crush Adam. Really? On the Junior Red House competition, keep watching. Ready? Ready. May the best Junior Red House run. Hold on, do we have a time on the dinner? Oh. 30 minutes? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. You should have thought about a snack. You should have thought about what? A snack. I'm hungry. Oh. Have you read the directions yet? No, deal. No. I'm not suggesting that you should read the directions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we need the scissors? Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you if you needed scissors, but you already had scissors. <laughs> Somehow you got a head start. That's all right. Where's all that smack talking now, huh? Well, you're quiet, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My tray's broken. Oh, it's, not. it's not big enough. No, it's not. What do you need the tray for? What are you talking about? What do you need the tray for? What's happening over there? Sorry. Okay. This 
just keep blowing on it. There we go. Yeah, cooking with fire. Have you ever been a kid who's so excited to have such a freedom mind? Mm -hmm. How are you doing on that? Mm -hmm. The directions have not like make it sound a lot easier than it is. I'm surprised that you followed the directions. Me too. Thank you for that. That's a bit of <gasps> mother of pearl. I'm going to assume that that means something did not go just quite right. Maybe what happened over there? Shh. Maybe so. Gravity is not my Okay over there? We're gonna have so much fun playing off. It's so hard to talk crap because you have to concentrate. Yeah, this is far more mentally challenging than I anticipated. It's fun. <laughs> I it's, recommend everybody try it once. It's but. fun, but it definitely needs a lot of concentration. Yeah. <gasps> oh, man. <gasps> Gravity and I are not friends since I hit 40, but I mean today, too. Oh, mother of pearl. Everything's full. And, like, the decorations on the box are a lie. There's no way. I don't want to give you any more secrets. I think you're doing just fine on your own. You're cheating. What do you mean I'm cheating? Did you see my house? Did you see that? I need tweezers. Can we use tweezers? Sure. I'm too lazy to put that one. Just sounded good, right? It does sound good. I mean, it's in theory, but I don't really want icing on my eyebrows. Too late now. Too late, baby. It's too late. It's cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. How well, about we got 10 more minutes? Yeah. You want to do I mean, it's, I'm looking at the clock. It says 532. We'll stop at 542. No, I'm serious. Serious. Good thing we got a vacuum. <laughs> that is for sure. Alright, I think that 
this is two more minutes, please. Uh, 38. Seconds? No. Got four minutes. We have four minutes left? Yeah. <gasps> Come on, man. I had far greater expectations for my house. Me too. I think it was just me. Icing onto the thing. I didn't know where my tip was. It's done. It's 42. All right, should we do the big reveal? You. Uh, rusting in your hair. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you just washed it, damn it. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna turn mine around behind the box. Why behind the box? So you can't see it. Okay. Well, actually, towards the camera, yeah. You turn yours towards the camera behind my box. Come on. I just what are, dumped. I, what are you doing? It was an accident. It was an accident. <laughs> let's, let's do this reveal. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Very colorful. Thanks. Nice. All right, you guys. I don't know. I, I, I like yours. I like mine too. <laughs> Can they hear the they, sound of. <laughs> probably. Let's do it. This is Adam's. Yeah. You get points for doing the sides, that's for sure. I mean, the front of your house is lacking a little bit, but the top of it, definitely, that design, I'm digging it. This is mine. Neither of us did the back, so I'm not even gonna show the back of mine, which is fine. All right, what do you think? I think yours is more festive. You used all of the colors. If you noticed, I had to stick with, it had to be color coordinated, keep going. But look at mine, look at my windows. Um, light, light, orange, orange, yellow, yellow. Okay, well, it's yeah, symmetrical. Symmetrical. You guys are the judges. We'll say something nice to each other. I really appreciate the fact that you did the sides of your house. And I really like the design of the roof because to be honest, those little snowflakes were really hard to work with. That's what I wanted it to be so for. You lost a tree, but that's not your fault. The front of your house is lacking a little bit, but you know, we do live in Las Vegas and all the houses are very plain and look alike. <laughs> I did a juror's house. I went with a more modern design. Modern design. More what contemporary, congruent. Yours definitely is more colorful, just like you. It's far more vibrant. I think both of these houses speak to our personalities. That's so true. Right? <laughs> In what sense does yours, because you're not boring by any stretch of the imagination. No, but the colors, how everything is congruent. For me, like I need that structure, that order, and sometimes simplicity, which is why I kind of stay away from the front. I didn't get too crazy. Where you like went all in. I went all in, but it's coordinated and it sure. works. Yeah, it's definitely coordinated. It's just I want to say it's a difference of styles. Styles. Each you guys, their own personal style. I agree. I think that that's so true. But you guys let us know in the comments below what you think. And then if you venture out, these were only $8. They are amazing for the kids. I used to buy these for my nieces and nephews. Only thing is, it is a mess. Like one year I bought them for my nieces and nephews and they stained. They did it in my mom's living room. And they stained the carpet. They made a disaster. So if you have a basement or you could just cut open a garbage bag and lay it out or do it if you're in the garage. someplace warm in the garage. I was going to say we should do it on the balcony, but it was a little cold in Las Vegas today. A lot cold. It was like only in the very low 40s today, yeah. which is cold for Vegas. So you guys are the judges. Let us know in the comments. Let us know if you try. Let us know what you think. That was fun. There was not a lot of crap talking because it was... It, it took way more concentration yeah. than I anticipated. Yeah, but it was fun. That, that, that also speaks to both of our personalities. Yeah. And we made more of a mess than I thought we were going to make. So, uh, 
there's candy all over. They're everywhere. By the tripod on the other side of the room. I, d I just gave up trying to. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Oh, look at this. I didn't even realize your little coordination up there. You're so cute. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. Let us know who won. What do you think? You forgot the front of your freaking house. I mean, you do a great job. Mine is more structurally sound. What are you talking about? Mine has this thing that's holding the whole roof together. It's got exactly. a chimney for Santa to go down. You've got a piece of cardboard that's holding yours together. It doesn't need to be there. It's aesthetically <laughs> pleasing and it is holding it together according to the instructions it's that I read. definitely holding it together. Where... We love you guys. <laughs>